Hi folks, Kevin here from Green Light Solutions. What I'm going to show you today is explaining how a knee bay heat pump determines how much heat it should send into the house. So what it works off is outdoor temperature, which I have on this graph down here. So this is outdoor temperature versus flow temperature. And what these guys here are the curve coefficients. So if we look here on this heat pump, menu 2.1, we're on curve coefficient 6. So for argument's sake, at 0 degrees outside, on curve coefficient 6, we're looking for 35 degrees to go into the building. So as it gets colder outside, we look for a higher temperature to go into the building. As it gets warmer outside, we look for a lower temperature to go into the building. So we're on curve coefficient 6. It's 4, 8 degrees outside. So, sorry, curve coefficient 6, roughly 8 degrees outside. Therefore, we're looking for somewhere just underneath 30 degrees to go into the building. And that's what we have here in the brackets. It's our target temperature to go into the floors. So, as it gets colder, we increase the target temperature into the building because we said the heat loss from our house is greater. As it gets warmer, we decrease our target temperature. And this is the figure inside the brackets. Now, if we were to go from a heating curve 6 up to a 7 or an 8, what will happen is our temperature inside the brackets goes up. So, for argument's sake, at 0 degrees outside at heating curve 7, we now want more heat to go into the building. Now, if we decrease our curve coefficient, we have less heat inside our house and we have less builds. Now, what the heat pump wants to do is maintain a constant temperature inside the house. So, it's a very intelligent way of heating your house. So, as it gets colder, it sends in more. As it gets warmer, it sends in less. Therefore, maintaining a steady temperature inside your house. So, the higher the curve, we'll say at heating curve 7, you might have somewhere at maybe 22 degrees, 23 degrees inside in your building. These are just examples, 21 degrees, 20 degrees inside your building. If it's heating curve 4 or less, you're going to have less heat. But this depends greatly on the insulation and the type of house you have. If you have a lot of glass, you'll have a lot of heat loss, so you'll need a higher curve. If you have a poorly insulated house, you'll need a higher curve. If you have a well insulated house, you need a less curve. I think the heat pump is playing with my recording somehow. But anyway, that's, uh, that's the basics of how the heat pump determines what temperature it sends into the building.